because you know I am here for my girls that want to be fly on a budget, okay? Hello there. Welcome to my channel where we dress with more intention. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hey girl. Today we're going to be doing a little video on affordable luxury handbags under $1,500. Because you know I am here for my girls that want to be fly on a budget, okay? So. Start off my collection, but it's not too expensive. I feel like $1,500 is a pretty reasonable price for high-end luxury. So we can start off with Gucci. Uh, if you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my little iPad here. Uh, so we can start off with this padlock mini bag. I love this bag. Like I was surprised when I even came across it. I especially love the gold detail hardware that they have on it. I, I love this bag. I'll definitely buy this bag. This bag is really cute and I'm a girl of small bags. I don't like big bags. I'm a small girl so I can't take no big bags. See this bag being worn about three, four years from now so uh, it's a yay for me. Next we have this Gucci Diagnosis GG Supreme Super Mini Bag. So they have various sizes to this bag but this is i'm guessing the smallest it's kind of like a wallet a chain wallet but it's really cute if you're a girl that like really small bags as you can see there's photos of what can be held in here a phone can fit in it so that's good because a lot of bags you can't fit no phone in it girl so um i really love the gucci canvas print i love the silver hardware and the brown detailing you have at the two sides um this will definitely get a thumbs up from me it's only 9 30. like that is if that's not reasonable for a gucci bag then i don't know what it is this is really cute you can dress it up or you can dress it down a casual day to at the mall or a casual day out shopping with the girls or you can wear it if you're going to dinner it's really cute and it can be matched with anything this bag is definitely gonna be around for a really long time i don't think this gucci print is ever gonna really go out of style and i can definitely see this bag again being worn in three to four years from now so, you know, for me, with my little collectibles, this is definitely an uh, A plus from me. The only thing that I may question about this bag is the fact that you can only wear it as like a crossbody. I am not a huge fan of long bags. Like I like to, I like shoulder bags. So it might have a long chain and you might only, well, I mean, you can wear it obviously as a handbag as well over the shoulder, but it might be really long as shown on the model. But I don't really like my bags like that. I would much rather wear it like a crossbody if the chain is going to be that long. But if you don't, you know, care about stuff like that, then kudos to you. Next, we have the Diagnosis Gigi Supreme Chain Wallet. So this is actually like a wallet on a chain as opposed to the other one was just a handbag. You can see the different compartments that they have to put your cards. It's a zip for your change, like an actual wallet. Um, it is bigger in sizing, as you can see on the model here. Beyond, we do have the Gucci Marmont Small shoulder bag uh this is really cute i think it's a good size it does retail at $14.90 which is you know obviously ten dollars under fifteen hundred but i do think it's a decent size for the price and you know what can go wrong with the black bag it does have the gold hardware it does not have an adjustable strap but i mean if you're a girl that likes crossbody bags or bags that have a really long strap then you know obviously that's your go-to this is a very plain but versatile bag it can be dressed i would mainly dress this bag down as far as dressing it up i do not think that i would dress this up here they do have it in another hardware they have it in silver and as you can see the leather um detailing is a bit different so if you like silver hardware over gold hardware this is available as well it is the same price $14.90 Moving on, we now have the Marmont Super Mini Bag. So this bag is really tiny. I'm not too sure if this, this should be able to hold your phone. It's in black and gold here. This retails at $1,100. If you're a girl that likes really small bags, again, this is a good bag to be worn out to the club. Or if you're going to the city and you don't want to carry much around. It does show pictures here that your phone can fit in it. And a few other things. I see a card holder, lip gloss. So again, this is the ideal price for an ideal size if you could fit your phone and wallet and everything else in it then what else does a girl need that's like the essential package we have the gucci marmont mini bucket bag i mean i like bucket bags i think they're different i love this ivory color with the gold 
hardware that just tops it off now this i would probably more so dress down as well maybe if you're doing like a casual not a, i want to say upscale like heels and pumps but maybe if you're doing like a booty or a boot or maybe like a chunky heel boot with jeans or something like you're kind of being upscale but dressed down in a way if you can get what i'm trying to say then i would do this as well this is really cute or even on the model how she has like this casual um oversized dress it's really cute obviously with ivory you can wear any color and it's really not that bad in price in 980 you cannot beat that Next on the list, we have Jacqueline's. Now, a lot of people don't really like this bag because they don't consider it as luxury or high-end as opposed to Saint Laurent or Louis Vuitton, Givenchy, Gucci. But me, I find it really cute. It's a nice bag if you want to go out to the club and you don't want to carry much or if you just want to go out to the city or something like that and you don't want to walk around with a big bag or with a lot of load. It's a nice little cute accessory. And I have a few. I have the pink, I have a pink one that I bought, a, a Le Chiquito, I think that's what it's called. I paid like $400 for them, so I mean, why not? So they have numerous amount of colors, styles they're coming out with, but I'm going to share with you guys a few that I personally like. So the one that I really like is called Le Grand Bambino, so that's like the bigger size to the style. It averages, I would say, don't mind me, I'm looking at my paper, it averages between, say, $600 to $1,000. I don't know why. I would never pay, me personally, I would never pay $1,000 for a Jacqueline's bag. It's just not happening. But the Legrand size is really big. It does come in numerous different colors. Orange. I've seen green. I've seen white. I've seen black. And I think those are the only four colors I've seen in the Legrand. But it does average between seven and a thousand dollars. They do have a smaller version, which is approximately probably you would get it from like four fifty to like six fifty or seven hundred something like that. Um, that's like the smaller size to the Legrand. Then they have the long Chiquito, which is a long bag to the regular Chiquito. They have it in two different textures. They have it in like the velvet velour material, which you have to be careful because that does get dirty fast. And they have it in a leather which is you know, obviously you know standard the one that everyone usually wears is the regular chiquito you can get that between 450 to like i mean they go up in sizing it's like the standard one then it's a small then it's a medium then it's a large so it probably varies between 450 to like 700 800 dollars it really depends on your obviously what you like and what you want to buy your preference as in the sizing me i don't like the really big ones because the handle when it's really big it's just i kind of think it's really ugly to me some people wear it as like a belt bag and that's really cute for the smaller ones but to wear like that big bag with the big handle as a belt bag it's just i don't know it's not for me but yeah i'm just on the up and up a lot of people are wearing them a lot of people are buying them everybody has their preference and to me me personally i like them moving on to my personal favorite brand louis vuitton so if you want to find affordable handbags to start off your collection on Louis Vuitton, you can go on the small leather goods and these are where I found all of these. We have the Nano No. This is retailed at $13.20. Again, I told you guys that I love odd shapes. Look how the model just has it sitting across his chest. It's something that I could wear with like a, a street casual wear or like a street look with like cargoes or some nice denim or oversized shirt or maybe even a blazer if you're dressing it down. I'm not sure if it comes in different colors, but as you can see, it has the monogram print and it has the pink strap. But see, I think a good price for a good size. It doesn't look too small. It doesn't look too big. I am a girl of small bags, so this is really cute and that is really versatile. So I think it's a win-win. Next, we have the Nano Speedy. The Speedy has been around for a really long time, but this is the Nano version. Anytime you hear Nano, that means that it's a really small bag. Some people like small bags, obviously, because it's less to carry and they like to go out with them this has the pink or i would say ivory more so on the pink side like pink detailing as far as the strap and the handle this retails for 1320 me personally i'm not a huge fan of the speedies but you know other people may love it and i think this is a good bag and a decent size mm. 
as far as the sizing i'm not too sure what all can fit in it it looks like it can fit your daily necessities so either way it's still a win-win for a girl that wants to start a collection and stay under fifteen hundred dollars next we have the double zip pouchette this is retailing for thirteen hundred dollars now this is a pouch this is like a wristlet this is something to be worn casually me personally i wouldn't wear this out like if i'm going to like a fancy event but again day-to-day -day basis this is really cute it has different monograms as you can see it has black it has the white and pink it has different styles that you can choose from obviously when you look through the pictures you can see that it has two different compartments they're not really that big it's really like a small crossbody bag but it looks like it can fit your phone and so on and so forth the daily essentials so. next we have the fella c pouchette now this thing is so hard to grab it can be worn as a crossbody handbag or it can be worn as a little pouch um this is a small bag it has various different colors this leather is really exclusive it's so hard to find it's always selling out so again if this is something that you like then i say go for it 1310 is not that bad for louis vuitton and the fact that it can hold all your daily essentials in it i think it's a win-win for me next we have the discovery pouchette this is more so like a bag for everyday usage it has the all black shadow and then it has the monogram eclipse canvas that's more like a black and grayish i mean me preference i don't think i have a preference over either one of these either one of these you can wear every day it retails at 1100 i think it's a decent size you can fit a lot in the pouch that i know for certain i love the monogram prints that's embossed in this black bag like i feel like that is kind of like the statement and this is a definitely a bag that will be around for a really long time next we do have the e2 voyage it does have gm and pm which is the two sizes the gm is the bigger one pm is the smaller one it does zip around so it kind of like opens up so you might want to be careful if you do purchase this you might want to be careful what you put in it and how you open it i'm not too sure if it comes in other monograms i only see this one this retails for 765 like lastly for louis vuitton we have the daily pouch which is one of my favorites i love this pouch i feel like it's something casual but with a little bit of sparkle to it so it does come in three different colors it has the rose the black and then it has like this cream color it does come in two different material uh, it has the monogram and then it has like the black leather that we were just looking out in the other style i feel like a lot of people do have this but it's still a classic it's still a bag that will be around for a really long time and that will never go out of style if you moving on to the next luxury brand which is fendi we have the mini camera case now this is a cute casual everyday bag i wouldn't wear this to any upscale events so i wouldn't dress it up i will only dress this down this is a really casual the reason why i say that is because it has the ff fendi monogram print all over it i do think that is a bit much so i would dress this down uh, it retails at 13 50 as far as a pouch it looks like it can hold a lot of stuff in it next we have the flat baguette this is a really cute bag i specifically love this color because i love blue and this navy blue not yeah navy blue i would say not royal blue with the silver hardware now this is a bag i would tuck in the straps and i would wear this as like a pouch i could wear this out and i could wear this casually as well you can see it has like the fendi f engraved into the material which is just like chef's chef's kiss for under fifteen hundred dollars from fendi this is just a win-win right here now last for fendi we have the montressor this is kind of like a bucket bag as i told you guys i love strange shapes bucket bags are kind of common for brands but i mean it's not your usual everyday bag so this bag comes in green and pink this is a really cute bag i believe it has a, a strap that you could attach to it to wear it crossbody as well as opposed to wearing it just as a handbag this is really cute and this retails for $13.50 as well the leather is going to uphold really well moving on to christian dior which is a more so upscale brand as well but i did manage to find this two bags that is affordable that i would buy First, we have the saddle wallet. Now, these bags, I'm not going to lie, are really small. But if you're a designer girl and you don't necessarily walk around with a lot of things, I'm not too sure if this can fit your phone, but it could definitely fit your card holder, your lip gloss, your keys, if you're going out to the club or if you're running to the city and you don't like walking around with a lot of stuff. This does 
retail for $13.50, which is not so bad of a price, especially for Dior. Now, as far as if you're the person that varies sizing and what you can fit in it with the price, then maybe this bag will not be for you. But for Christian Dior, $13.50 is not that bad. And this is one of their iconic pieces, the saddle bag. So this is the saddle chain wallet. So this is a good investment if you want to start off your collection and you're looking to spend less than $1,500. You can wear this as a crossbody because it has a long chain and you could wear it as a pouch. Me, I would probably wear it as a pouch because I wouldn't want a little bag to be worn as a crossbody. I feel like that kind of looks a little weird. The other bag that I did find was the square saddle belt pouch. So this is like a belt bag. It does come in different colors. You can wear it as a belt bag. I feel like that's kind of like a casual style. You, I've seen people wear it with like pleated skirts or they dress it up like with blazing and stuff like that which looks cute as well but this retails at 1300 which is not so bad like i said for dior it's really cute and you can wear it numerous ways you can dress it up or you can dress it down what can fit in it now is the problem i'm not too sure how much can fit in it but again if you're a girl that does not mind what you can put in your bag or you don't walk around with much then this bag will be for you last but not least we have saint laurent now these bags are usually i would say pricey but i i managed to find some good affordable cute things for my affordable girls so let's start with the monogram leather pouch this is $6.95 girl $6.95 for a Saint Laurent pouch that is just you can't beat it I see this on net porter website I'm not even too sure if it's on the Saint Laurent website I didn't even check but girl go check this out it, I see it has red it has a white and it has a black with gold hardware you can wear it as a pouch or you can wear it as a crossbody because it has the long strap and this bag is just like for the price i feel like maybe that's why i'm so excited but if you're not beating this and this is definitely a classic bag that you can keep for a very long time and keep reusing so you will definitely get your calls for it next we have the envelope chain wallet now this is a another classic piece that you know has been around for a very long time there's so many different colors so many different hardwares right now we're looking at the black and gold hardware this retails for 13.50 i feel like a lot of these prices are $13.50 I don't know maybe that's like the in-between of being not too expensive and not too cheap this is something that you can wear both upscale or casually you can tuck the chains in and wear it as a pouch you can wear it as a crossbody again you may not be able to fit too many things but you can fit your daily essentials your phone your keys your card holder a little wallet if you have some lip gloss whatever things that you may need to just do your daily functions this green leather is less prone to scratch you will definitely get your money's worth and you will definitely get your wearings out of it because it's not easily to be show wear and tear or look old so this is definitely a win right here. This Next we have the Lou mini bag in green leather. Again, this is the good leather that won't get scratched easily or show easy signs of wear and tear. So this is a good investment. This is retailed at $13.90. There's so many different colors, so many different styles. St. Laurent is really, really versatile. They have a lot of different options. I'm just obviously showing you my favorites. This is a bag that you can, it has the tassel detail. You can wear as a crossbody or you can wear as a pouch too as well since it's small. I would say for me personally, I would not dress this up. This is another casual bag that you can use every day, get your good cost per wear, get your money worth, and this is just something that I will dress down. Moving on to the Uptown Chain Wallet. Again, St. Laurent has a lot of different options. This bag comes in various different colors. Uh, this does retail at $11.90, which is also a great price for a, a brand like St. Laurent. So that's all I have for you guys today. There is more when you're looking for stuff that is affordable or you're looking for things under a certain price range. What I do usually is you can look under small leather goods or small leather bags or mini bags. Anything with the word small in it will more than likely be for a lesser price because obviously the sizing so if that's what you're doing to look to start off your collection or you're just a girl that doesn't want to spend that much money on material or luxury items that's what i do and if you have any questions comments concerns feel free to comment below don't forget to like the video and subscribe that's all for now bye